Hey there everyone, it's here back again with another video. In this video, this is a serious, serious video. This video might change up your life, might change up the entire perspective of how you see the C language. Now, a lot of people say that C is the base of all programming language. Now, this is actually a true statement, but there are a lot of things that are going on wrong with this statement. And in fact, the kind of feel that this statement gives to you and the understanding that you're getting with this statement is completely, completely wrong. So let's clear up all the myth and discuss that in this video. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, pretty much everything related to programming and technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's go ahead and move on to our today's topic, which is C is the base of all programming language. Now you will hear this statement in all of the books, all of the teachers in the university, in the schools, and even I have said this statement quite a number of times. But I'm here, I'm here to tell you that this is completely a wrong statement. Now the statement in, in itself is completely right, that the C is the base of all programming language, that the, but the meaning that this sentence is conveying to you is completely wrong. Now let me put up in a much more detail so that you can understand. Now what is happening, C was actually one of the uh, very first programming language. I know a lot of people are gonna say, hey, there were programming languages that were much more previous than the C, but let's just say that C is one of the most primitive language. Now what happened after that, a lot of new advanced languages were developed, like C++ and Java, and they they share a fair amount of syntax with the C as well. So it's not completely wrong to say that the C is the base of those languages. Okay, that's okay. But what I'm trying to say in here that since C is the base of all language, the path to learn any programming language doesn't necessarily need to be get started with the C. I have seen this C, uh, this loop of C, C++, Java, uh, enough of my life. Uh, this is completely a bizarre loop that people are going around. In order to learn Java, you have to first start with C because that's the base of a programming language. And then further, you have to move into C++ and Java. This is completely a bull. Now, don't ever, ever, ever believe that. And who am I to say this? I have been programming for over, over all over 10 years and I do uh, code every single day. I push my GitHub repositories almost every week. I submit client project. So I'm quite a lot into the industry of iOS apps, web apps and everything. And as this, I would like to share this great piece of advice. If you want to get started with a particular programming language, just directly get started with that. Every language has been designed in its own curriculum and its own paradigm itself. Every programming language starts from the basics of variables and all the things that you can imagine. So there is no need to get started with C. Now, in case I'm not saying that C is a bad language, you should not get started with that. But Getting, if you want to design Android apps and you want to get started with Java, there is no need to waste your time with C and C++. Just directly get started with Java. You can learn any programming language directly. Now, a lot of people will also jump up and say another statement that when you know and understand the C language, since you are already familiar with the syntax, you can actually grasp the Java or maybe PHP quite easily. Now, again, one of the crappy statements this can be. Now, if you know PHP, you can automatically switch into C as well. So all I'm saying is most of the programming language shares almost exactly the same syntax. There are a few minor here and there things, but this is, this is all about it. Uh, a person who is having a great amount of experience in PHP, ask him to shift into JavaScript. He will be, he will be easily because a lot of syntax and a lot of concepts of programming in the PHP shares the syntax in JavaScript as well. Ask any programmer of Java to shift into Swift and he will be for sure. There is a lot of similarity of the syntax like loops and variables uh, there as well. So no need to get worried about that. So the myth that says that, hey, C will help you to get started in other language. This is completely a wastage of time. Pick up, your, pick up your favorite language that is already your favorite and just directly get started with that. So whole of the summary in here is choose your language. Don't, there is no prerequisite of other language to learn about it. Just directly get started with la that particular language. Interested in JavaScript? Get started with that. Interested in Java? Get started with that. There is no such loop. Like you have to first learn C, then C++, then Java, then maybe PHP, then maybe Swift. There is no such loop. 
you can anytime pick up any language and can get started there. So in case you think that this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. In case you think that this video can help, can be helpful for somebody else, make sure you share it on social media. I'll catch you up in the next video.